hello everyone um, today I am going to help you with uh, a modem configuration uh, if you are a BSNL uh, customers broadband customers I know a lot of you have some problems configuring your uh, modem and this configuration is um, exclusively meant for model number a1 an1020-20 I don't know what that means but uh, whatever it means uh, let it be let me go ahead and show you how to configure it first uh, before you have to log into your firmware page so this is the firmware address um, one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one now this is the default gateway through which you can access your modem page the modem page is where you can configure your internet connection and get it connected now if you are not really aware of this uh, address you know if you can't, if you can't remember or uh, whatever all you have to do is connect your modem to your computer as usual like ethernet cable to the modem power it on then go to run command type cmd it will go to the command prompt all you have to do it type ip config ip c o n f i g and hit enter uh, you will have default gateway under ethernet adapter local area connection so whatever address that you get near the default gateway adjacent to default gateway that is 192.168.1.1 that is your address so go ahead type it hit enter now it will ask for username and password generally the username would be admin and the password will be admin admin or the username will be admin and the password will be password you have to type this click ok you will be logged into your modem page now you have to change this um, if you want to change this uh, username and password because if you have too many people working in your uh, computer then you can uh, better uh, change password you can go ahead click on admin then go to change password there you can change your password but make sure you remember this password if you forget it you have to reset your modem to get this password so once you enter this make sure you remember it or just have it saved somewhere in a safe location okay once this is done you have to click on configuration then you have to click on internet connection so mine is already uh, connected but then uh, I'm going to delete it and then I'm going to show you how to just uh, configure it from from the start so selecting it I'm just deleting everything this is a very simple process you don't have to worry at all you can do it in five minutes click on add PVC name this is very important you have to enter the PVC name correctly it should be capital P P P small O and then a capital E okay your VPI should be 0 your VCI should be 3 5 just, just leave everything like that whatever is there in the page just like that click on next make sure this option PPP over Ethernet that is PPP OE is selected just leave everything just like that click next make sure this option obtain an IP address automatically is selected click next now here you have to enter your username and then the password okay uh, I'll just enter it you have to confirm your password 
make sure that um, the always on option is there selected then click next and that's it you know this is these are the settings just make sure that uh, you have this um, set of settings in your modem at the end and click on apply check the internet connection whether it is connecting and you should be all right you know don't have to worry about anything else it will be connected directly and that's it you know you are connected to the internet in 5 minutes simple as that thank you and have a nice day